sinker system that we use at Kayak Fish. We are going to go through all the stuff piece by piece, how to put it together and how to build it. The first thing we have is the bungee cord that we attach to the front cord, which we use as a shock absorber to stop the kayak from jerking when it's on anchor. Here we have a float with 90 meters of 2.5 millimeter uh, braid on it with an anchor. Uh, figured out a lot of guys have helped with the design and this is the componentry and how to attach it. The whole system, this is the bungee part of the, of the anchor system. We have a 316 stainless steel clip on the front. This is 10 millimeter ski rope. This is about a 90 millimeter float. Here we have 10, 10 millimeter bungee cord, as you can see, which is stretchy. We use this as a shock absorber so that we have no jerking on the kayak when the anchor system is down. To make this, I use 10 millimeter ski rope, which I wind. I open up, as you can see here, I just feed it back into itself to make loops and attach the clips and the stuff. I then use um, this is plastic tubing, which I use number one to lock the splice so that it doesn't slip out. And I also use it to keep my float, my float in position. This is a back splice uh, on the on the 10 millimeter bungee cord. What I do is I will clamp the elastic in a vise. I will put a hook through it and I will stretch it to such a position. Then I will take 20 millimeter fishing gut, knot it onto the line, and I will wind it up for about, I'll probably use about two meters of fishing gut. After that is done, I will heat shrink some 16 millimeter plastic heat shrink over it to keep the whole system nice and tight and streamlined. Now I'm gonna attach it to the kayak. I'll go to the front of the kayak. I will pull this through, stick the loop in. And attach this to my carrying handle on this side of the kayak. And there it is. This is always attached to the kayak and this stays there. Um, I never remove this system. This is a, a normal float that we buy from tackle shops and fishing shops. You can also buy them at a, a company called All Net in Cape Town. What we do with the float is I put them on a lathe and I machine out the center part so that I can wind my 90, milli, my 90 meters of braid onto a float. Here we have a 316 uh, snap shackle which we, we buy from the tackle shops as well. They cost about 20 bucks a system. Through the inside of the float coming out at the bottom, I, we have a four millimeter stainless steel rod. I then weld, I then bend an eye and I weld that to the, to the rod uh, of three millimeter stainless steel. We use stainless steel because it won't rust. I then take um, a link and I attach the snap shackle to the the anchor system on the one side. On this side we just have a normal ring which is also welded on. So what I would do, I would take the piece of round bar, weld the two eyes onto both sides of the of the float. I then take a hole saw and take a hard plastic uh, which are lying there. I normally use four discs. Uh, what I would do then is I will stick the I will put two of the discs on the one side of the rod with the, with the eyes. I would stick it through my float. I will then compress the float. And as you can see there with a the hacksaw, I've slotted uh, the discs open on the one side. I will then fold the, the disc open and I will push it through so that it locks the ring in place um, to form uh, one big unit. It's quite complicated to make and it's better to get a guy who's an artisan or if you can weld uh, to make the, this part of the setup. The whole setup plus the bungee cord and the float we're looking at about 600 bucks uh, to make the whole thing but it's worth every cent because your anchor system can um, enhance your fishing experience and probably save your life as well. When you're 
without uh, fishing at anchor, your anchor system, as you see on the movie, is always forward to uh, your anchor. If you want to then retrieve your anchor, I will take my paddle and I will paddle forward with the kayak, which will cause all of this to come back to where I am sitting in the kayak. Once this is next to me, I will pick it up out the water, undo my lock. So that I have all, it's now in my, okay. Once the anchor system is, is close to me, I will stow my paddle back in the kayak. I'll grab my anchor system, bring it on board. I will unclip the bungee cord clip it onto my, onto my carrying handle of my kayak. I will put the float down on my lap. I will retrieve all the line, which I will throw over on the opposite side of the kayak. Once I have the anchor, I'll put it on my lap, grab the float, and I'll wind all the rope up. Once all the rope is up, I'll stow my anchor, close my hatch, and I'll leave to go trawling. Okay, once I'm next to my anchor system, I will take the clip on this side, I will clip it out of the float, I will reattach this to my kayak. And then I will leave this in the water and this will float with my anchor system still at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, in other words, I don't have to bring it up. I will then take my kayak, I'll go to my mate, go and fetch some more tackle or bait or whatever the case may be. With this floating in the water, I will then come back to my anchor system and I will reattach the float system and the anchor system is, I'm now reattached to my anchor system and I'm catching fish.